Junkin Fool over here with Debbie at Fordville too, messing with this diesel. Got the old glow plugs on there. We changed this hose here. Then we got some sea foam over here. We we filled the injection pump up with pure sea foam, and then we mixed the rest of it in with a gallon of fresh diesel. We've been running it a little bit, but she sure is a smoker. I got a dilemma going. I gotta put the fan back on, and uh, uh, if I put the fan back on, I gotta put the alternator back on and the radiator in it so I can run it longer. Look at the soot on these players. Look at what Debbie did to that thing. Yeah, them are bad. We'll see if it'll start. I may have to give it another. It's still a little warm, but we'll see what happens. Let's see. Don't put my foot on that flywheel. I think I I was messing around with these vacuum. I know diesel and um, vacuum, they don't produce much vacuum. Apparently that's why they got a pump on the front of them. I really need to have the radiator and everything hooked to it so I can when I get it started, I can just walk away from it and let it smoke for a while. I got it to idle down some. It's still trying to idle high. Yeah, I'm going to have to, and I, I think most of that smoking is because of this pure sea foam. That's supposed to clean all the injectors. I've actually used that stuff before. I had a couple, couple rollbacks that were not running good, and I put some of that in there and got it out on the road and just, just uh, got right on it. And it seemed like it cleared it right out and it run good. I, I'd put a can in it about every year or so, whether it needed it or not. But I didn't smoke that bad, but I didn't run it pure, pure diesel. They got some diesel plurge or something they call it. I can't, that you, uh, you put in there and I think it's about 50 bucks a can. My stuff's about eight bucks a can there. That's starting a lot better. It's still got to have the glow plugs. I think it probably needs injectors. I think that's part of the thing. I cleaned them, but I'm not sure. And they're expensive. I can't remember what they cost. But it'll usually start as long as I put the... As long as I'm not trying to video and I put the um, block heater on it for a minute. And I think that's just because well, it's cold out today for one, but it ain't that cold. But I think it's mainly because it's been about set for 20 years. And then my nephew had it for a few years. It hasn't been run, so... Trying to get the bugs worked out of it. I'm kind of looking for a body for it, but I do want to run it more and make sure that smoke is going to quit. 
or slow down quite a bit. It seems like it's like, as bad as that was, it was worse earlier. It had some oil leaking. I, I got that stopped. I got to clean that mess up. It's carrying really good oil pressure. I don't know. It's like 80 pounds, but I'm not, I'm not sure about an idle. It's still idle a little high. I was messing around with trying to figure out how to lower the idle. There's an idle adjustment right here, and it's as low as it goes. I just want to make sure it's going to run a little bit, and then I want to get it power washed and change a valve cover gasket. I had a leak here, and I tightened one of them fittings up there that I didn't have quite tight enough. So I guess I'm going to look into putting a radiator in it. I got the radiator in there. I just didn't really want to put antifreeze in it. So to put to put that in, I actually got to put an alternator on it so the belt will turn. And I really don't want to go with the old alternator that's on it. Got to put the water pump on it. And then I got to... I'd have to plug this because this is a water port right there. I don't know, I could probably get a plug for that, or I don't know what I'd run it to. I guess I could, maybe I could find a, used to be something on this. All these hoses here, I'm keeping all this stuff for temporarily, but something that run into before. Probably something, I don't think there's an extra spot on the radiator. Let's click on the radiator. There's my extra parts. So I think I'm going to end up making, building up another injection pump. I got to take some of the pistons out of this one and put them in this one. That's the one I put the cam in. And I think the main problem was the uh, injectors were bad in it. That and a fuel pump. It had, it had a few problems with it. Not that it still doesn't have. Oh, it's even smoky in here. That's crazy. Yeah, there's just that's oil there. Yeah, there's just two two uh, hoses on the radiator. So somehow I got to figure out where that other that other uh, hose run to something and see if I can figure out a way to plug that off. Anyway, I don't know. I guess that's probably the next step is getting some water in there so I could run it. The big old hose. I got all the hoses and the clamps and everything. I suppose I could hook it to a garden hose, but I don't know how good that would work to run it. I'm sure Debbie will come up with an idea. Yeah. I don't think it'll start now. Not one-handed, anyway. Debbie, you hold this just for one second. Watch the oil here. Yeah, this thing made a big mess. Let's try it again. No, we're not going to crank on it. If I hook the glow plug to it, it'll fire right up. I have a feeling that's because of the injectors. Well... This is smoky. I'm going to blame it on either the oil injection or the, the injectors are still messed up. But I think it just needs to be run. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Goodbye. It's almost barbecue season. Let's not smoke up the neighborhood. Goodbye now.